Hello guys, welcome to Korean Papsa. The weather is getting warm out there, so we'll be making bibimguksu, a corn noodle dish that's served with sweet and tangy gochujang sauce. It's highly popular as a quick, light meal, and it's an absolute summer favorite of mine. Let's get started. Let's make the sauce first. So I have three tablespoons of gochujang here, and then I'm going to add a tablespoon of gochugaru. You can leave it out if you don't like it too spicy. A tablespoon soy sauce, two tablespoons sugar, and two tablespoons of vinegar. I said sweet and tangy, right? And a teaspoon of minced garlic. Sometimes I also add Meshilcheong Korean plum syrup. Also a little bit of orange juice or apple juice, even like um, soft drink, will make this delicious sauce even more delicious. So that's it guys. It's so easy to put together, right? I think you should double or triple the sauce and have more noodles later. Um, this will keep well for up to two weeks, probably longer. So when you're making the sauce ahead of time, only thing that you want to hold back are sesame oil and sesame seeds because you want that delicious nutty aroma um, right before serving the sauce. The sauce will taste uh, even better after flavors have some time to melt together. Let's have our water boiling while we cut our vegetables. So for vegetables, you can keep it as simple as possible, but I have a few vegetables uh, here. You might have these in your fridge too. This will give you a, a nice combination of colors, flavors, and textures. You just need a little bit of each, and let's uh, cut these up. I love this colorful red cabbage. So now the noodles. Bibimguksu is usually made with thin wheat noodles called somyeon in Korean. They come in different thicknesses and there's a little thicker version called jungmyeon, meaning medium thickness. And sometimes they are naturally colored beautifully like these. My favorite is buckwheat noodles. And today we'll be using this. Everyone's serving size is obviously different but generally four ounces are a serving. And um, Koreans know by like holding it like this, it's about one inch diameter that's um, a serving. Water's boiling, so we're gonna put our noodles in. And stir the noodles so they don't stick together. Okay, so here's a trick. It's boiling over, right? So just add some cold water, about a half cup, and let it boil up again. This is a, a little technique Koreans use for um, nicely chewy and bouncy noodles. When it all boils up like this, you do that one more time. So um, just cook the noodles according to the package instructions, but generally thin noodles like this take about four minutes to cook. The best way to check to see if the noodles are cooked through is just try some. Mm. Yeah, this is done. Now at this point, you just need to move quickly and then just wash it. Rinse it in the cold water. And we do this so that um, surface starch is washed off for really chewy, bouncy noodles. 
which is very important in Korean core noodle dishes to to make like serving mounds pull it pull the noodles two or three times in your hand and then just wrap it around your hand like that and then gently lay it down okay okay so Put a serving of noodles here, like that. And then just a handful of vegetables on each one. I sometimes use thinly sliced kimchi as well, but today I skip that. Okay, and um, I'm gonna do sauce on top. You can serve it on the side as well. And remember, I held up my sesame oil. This is the time. I like to use crushed sesame seeds for this bibimbap soup. I think it's done. That's one way to do it. How does that look? Beautiful, right? The other one, I'm gonna toss it all together before serving it. Here's our sauce. Oh, you know what? It's Korean hot mustard paste. This is a prepared one. Little bit of this is nice to have too, if you have some. Um, about a half teaspoon for a serving. And again, lots of uh, sesame oil and sesame seeds. And then mix it all up. Then I'm gonna add some vegetables here. Leave some to garnish. A bit of uh, additional green on top, and of course an egg, and more sesame seeds if you still have some. That's it guys. How quick and easy was that? Hope you make this for your next lunch. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more recipes from Korean Hapsa. Until next time, 안녕히 계세요.